Hi, I'm Marius from MWS Photography, and welcome back to the second video on the editing workflow using Photomate. Now, in the previous video, we have imported our images onto the device. Now we need to sort the images so we can choose the images that we want to, in the end, edit and other use for social media or show to a client. Now, we only have 12 images here, but imagine this could have been 500 images. So the best will be to first sort through them and rate the ones that we think in the end we want to use. Now to make this very easy, I'm going to go to Quick Browse there at the top. And then you'll see another icon there with two little, two little blocks next to each other. That's the Compare option. So I'm just going to select that. And then I can see these two um, duplicate images next to each other. Now I can take this image and I can go to the next one and then I can compare these two and decide which one I want to use in the final editing process. Now, I'm not going to use these images. I'm going to go straight to this one. And then there are two of these. And I can see there by the numbers which one is which. Now, if I look at these two, I like this way, the way this image, she's coming into the image. This one, it looks like she's lying flat. This one, you can see it's got a much better angle to it. So I think I'm going to go with that one. Now I'm going to give this a five star rating and you'll see why. Now I'm going to go to the next image or the next choice of images. So when I look here, I can see that I've got again two choices here. Now this one I can see the arm is cut off there and this one it's not. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to give that one a five star rating. And then I think this one is the only one that looks like this. I think I've only got these two. There's not, no duplicates of them, or at least of that one, there's a duplicate. So this one, I'm just going to give a five star. And then I'm going to go continue to this one now. And I can compare these two against each other. And I can see I like more this serious look than this one, which is almost laughing. So um, I'm going to give that one a five star. I'm going to leave that alone. Then I'm going to continue. I'm going to come to this image, and then these are basically two um, individual images. There's no copies or duplicates or anything, so I'm going to basically use them both. Now, once I've done that, I've given all the images that I want to use five-star ratings, and the other ones are just left out. So I'm just going to go to the back key. Now, those ratings are saved on the images, and now I can filter them. And the reason I'm doing this filtering process is that if you've got maybe 100 images and you only want to edit 25 of them, but you only want to see those 25, you don't want to see the 75 that you don't want to look at now, but maybe later on you are going to use them, then it's wise to filter them this way. So then you know they'll always be there, but you can only see the ones that you really want to look at now. So that, that's where the filter option comes in very nicely. Now, if you don't have a filter option like that at the top, you can, oops, just clicked on the image again. Um, you can just go to the, op to the options right there, the preferences, and right here at the bottom, you'll see preference. I'm going to go to that, and then there's file filtering. Now, if you don't have that bar at the top, you'll see a show filter bar. Click on that, and then I have mine set to always. And you'll find it's very handy because now I can quickly turn the filtering on and off. I'm just going to go to cancel there because mine is already on. And then I'm going to go back to my images. Now, when you want to change the filtering, uh, maybe you want to show only one star or show only two stars. I'm going to show you where you can change that now, but I'm first going to, going to turn the filtering on. You'll see there's a little off on slide. I'm just going to slide it to on. Now you'll see I'm only seeing six of those 12 images. The other six I'm not seeing anymore. But if I want to change the way I'm looking at my ratings, I just go to that almost like a little tool spanner thingy right there. I'm just going to click on that. And I've got all the options here again. You'll see it's the same screen I was at because there's the show filter bar option again at the bottom. It's just a much quicker way to get there. And now I can say, okay, I want to filter it by type or filter it by rating. You can also fine tune it here. So you can really speed up your workflow by choosing exactly the way you want to filter these images. So now I've got my images ready and I can continue to the editing process. So that's that for this video. And the next one, we are going to look at editing and then also syncing the settings between images so that we don't need to do all the work over and over again. So that's that for this video and I'll see you in the next one.